Every year, the biggest names in video games descend upon Los Angeles for the Electronic Entertainment Expo, the industry's largest event of its kind. The City of Angels Convention Center turns into a true battlefield between the console giants who unleash a torrential downpour of new games, hardware and experiences to keep fans' mouths watering. This year, the next big thing in terms of user experience is virtual reality. Recent Facebook acquisition, Oculus was there alongside its main competitor, Project Morpheus. Actually, it's a 3D, you know, you put on some headset and you immerse in a 3D world. So, and it looks really, really awesome. Compared to old school where it was like really blocky, this one I'm expecting it to be really immersed in that world and very good graphics, awesome graphics. The event's major battle was between Microsoft and Sony introducing the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Demos included driving sequel Forza Horizon 2 with the largest roster of drivable cars ever. There was also the much-anticipated futuristic series Call of Duty Advanced Warfare with its amazing graphics but little change when it comes to actual gameplay. And the biggest news was for Halo fans. Xbox One has a Master Chief collection scheduled for release in November. Sony is also exploring a lot of gaming possibilities and is betting on the new Bungie blockbuster and sci-fi shooter Destiny. The game is online for better testing, as is EA's Battlefield, which takes players into the war on crime in Los Angeles and Miami. Finally, Sony unveiled its PlayStation TV that allows players to stream their games to any TV in their house and ties into the company's cloud-based game streaming service, PlayStation Now.